Hi, we're live, live with Lynn. Um, I hope you're having a great day. Today we are gonna talk about re uh, retreats and much needed escapes. So when I had the privilege of working at Condé Nast at Self Magazine, we, because of the nature of the publication all about health and wellness, we would have wonderful client trips and we would take them to fabulous destinations where we would share. Uh, our editors would share wonderful tips on health and wellness and the clients would be treated to spa treatments and then we'd have wonderful meals together and it was an incredible experience. So when I decided to go off and, Wendy! When I decided to go off and start my own business, one of the things I really wanted to do was see how I could incorporate trips like that into what I was doing. So for those of you who don't know, I have four businesses and the whole idea is to really incorporate a lot of those retreats and escapes into any and all of them. And I just managed to do that with my Kismet Alchemy business, Ellen, where um, we had a fabulous retreat in Maine. So um, what we do on these retreats is something that is really extraordinary. It's all about, for women in the corporate world, it's about taking a break and really digging deep into who they are, healing, um, just just being able to kick back and really tap into their own energy that may be totally spent, it may be out of flow, it may be in resistance. So I do something called human design. My partner Glendy is an amazing pranic healer and sound healer. Uh, so it's all about relaxing and you know just letting go all of the stress. And then Paula Jennings who is part of our trilogy um, our my third partner um, or my second partner there's three of us um, she does deep kundalini yoga and energy healing and really she is a an amazing coach she gets into blocks where are you in your life we all do in a different way so it's a great experience so in 2020 we are Carla great to have you back so we are going to plan some great retreats and one of them is to Morocco. We are going to go to Morocco in probably the late spring of 2020. And when I say we're going to Morocco, we have a heavenly place, something that is completely out of the Arabian Nights where we're going to be able to host um, amazing spa treatments and healing and relaxation and really getting totally away from the corporate grind into something very, very special and very, very personally sacred. So we're really excited about that. So if anybody is interested in being put on a list and finding out more information, please just put it in the comments. And as soon as we get all the details wrapped up, I will let you know, but this is going to be absolutely a sensational um, escape. Um, you know, as I said, it's something out of Aladdin. So, um, you know, we haven't decided on a name yet, but we have a location and it is very bespoke and we're obviously incredibly excited about it. So that brings me to another situation we are looking for a place to have an escape in the United States. So we have Europe covered, um, actually, obviously, Morocco is really Africa, but um, we have that kind of international destination already tabled for at least twice in 2020, but we are looking to do something in the United States. And as a result, I would love your comments. Um, we loved going up to Maine. It was really special. Um, and I think the clients who attended with us had an extraordinary time. 
but the place that we went to in Maine is not conducive to a big group because of the fact that there is not a lot of private rooms. The Morocco trip allows for complete privacy. Um, you can share a room, but there is a private bath or you can have the room by yourself. We need something like that in the States because I think when people really want to escape, they don't want to have to feel that they are um, sharing, hi Gail, sharing or splitting their sacred time with people. So if you have um, a place that you can recommend for say a, a maybe a three and a half or four day escape or retreat, please put it in the comments. Now, just make sure that the place you're recommending, there's some criteria. Obviously, it has to be safe. It has to be in a place that is um, fairly upscale. Um, private baths are recommended. Um, so th that's really the criteria and something that doesn't need about five different changes of airplanes and ground transportation that takes hours. So fairly convenient. We're assuming that most of the people who are going to be coming are going to be coming from the East Coast. Um, so, you know, California is great because it's so easy to get to. Um, the idea of Santa Fe is wonderful, but sometimes it's not as convenient um, as far as getting from from New York is certainly as it, as it is from California, but places like Ojai and Santa Barbara and San Diego um, all would be ones that we welcome recommendations. Um, but it even could be Jackson Hole or something if there's an extraordinary spot that you've been to, um, kind of like a hidden gem, and you want to recommend to us, that would be really, really fantastic. So, um, one thing we had in Maine that was um, really fantastic was the person who owns this beautiful farm that we were at is a gourmet cook. So, it's really great to have those wonderful meals. Not only was the food all organic, it was farm to table and just absolutely exquisitely prepared. The same thing is going to be happening in Morocco. Um, there is a an amazing staff on premises of the places that we're going to, the place that we're going to be going to in Morocco, where food is going to be five star. Jackie! So, um... So that's what we're looking for. Really kind of an exquisite place, um, a place that somebody could say, oh, this was an incredible experience. We recommend this to anybody. Um, Gail, if you know any place in Portugal also that you think could be put on the agenda for 2000, late 2020, I'm always open to going back to Portugal. Gail's son lives over there or did. So you may have great recommendations for that. But that's what we're looking for. Um, I would love your comments. Or if also your comments, if you've been on any of these special escapes or retreats and had suggestions about activities, um, that's always something to keep in mind. Because when we had this latest retreat, we found that we actually scheduled too many experiences. We had our clients kind of jammed and it was something that we're not gonna do again because the idea of escape is just that. We wanna give people some downtime. So um, any kind of suggestion on the agenda for the, for the, um, for the retreat would be great. So, um, that's it for today. I hope you're having a great day. The rain in New York has subsided. I think the sun is peeking out, which is great. I am going to be making a pilgrimage down to Chinatown this afternoon. I am looking to find contacts who have 
relatives in Hong Kong or friends in Hong Kong because I have a business opportunity in Hong Kong and if anybody on this feed knows anybody who is in Hong Kong who would like to be open to hearing about an incredible opportunity let me know all right so have an amazing day and um, or if you're watching it on the replay, I hope you had an amazing day and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.